Remember when this channel was all about openings and everything was just peachy keen? Well, I have a fat pack of cons of Tarkir and we're just going to open it. And we're not going to complain about anything. We're just going to hang out. And if you all behave and crush that like button, I have a little something to also open. Cons of Tarkir is one of my all-time favorite sets. And, uh, you know, it's great to open. It's fun to open. Especially now as the price of fetch lands are creeping back up. And with the bonanza that the reprint of the enemy fetch lands in Modern Masters 2017 has wrought, I figured, why not see if we can't find some of... The boring fetch lands that we already all have. I still stand by these brown dye are like my fave. Totes, totes fave. Concert Arc here is a lot of fun to draft. It was the first set that I really started to understand what uh, drafting was. Or like, you know... Uh, how to recognize signals. It actually made it easy. Um, lots of fond memories of the cards in this set, so I'm not going to blast through it too quickly. Scion of Glaciers. Cranial Archive. War Name Aspirant. And Hardened Scales. Definitely a fun card uh, for those token decks. This uh, set obviously was a great draft set, but it was also buoyed by the crazy reprint of Fetchlands. Mardu Heartpiercer, Pine Walker, Sultai Charm, and Rakshasa Vizier. I think Rakshasa was in a intro deck. I think. Master of the Way, fun card. Become Immense, heh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Seeker of the Way, and Sultai Ascendancy. The Ascendancies were always fun to get, like, in pack three when you were already in that guild, so to speak. If you're already in Sultai, getting the Sultai Ascendancy is always really fun. Hordling Outburst, was an FNM promo, very strong card. Armament Core. Sultai Charm, and Anafenza, very strong, 3-mana 4-4 four, four in Abzan. Saw a standard play, saw a play as a Tiny Leader, saw a play in the sideboard. 3-mana 4-4 four, four that also has abilities. That's a good card. Dies to smite the monsters, though. Treasure Cruise. Oh, the memories of Treasure Cruise. Brew the Sands, Opulent Palace, Watcher of the Roost. Oh, show me a land. Flooded Strand. Show me a land, Flooded Strand. There we go. Fetch land. If you happen to open two fetch lands in one of these um, fat packs, you definitely paid for it. If you open the right fetch land, you did pretty good. Definitely wish I would have hoarded a bit more of this. But uh, I won this at GP Milwaukee, and I wanted to save it for kind of something special. And, um, well, since that, that, that day never came, I was <laughs> just kidding. Not kidding. I kid, I kid, I kid. Blood Soak Champion. Very solid card. That's all out of decent amount of play as well. Um, but I've been doing a lot of vlog style videos because. You know, I'm trying to focus on growing the channel, and so I'm investing in. I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of people have seen the ads running, and all that stuff, and it, it's working. But um, you know, we'll be ready for Modern Masters 17. I have purchased three boxes, I believe. Um, hopefully, they won't cancel their pre-orders, and even if they do, I have secured at least one box from my local game store. Probably just one box. Burn away. 
Ruthless Ripper, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, and another Rakshasa. That is, of course, the bad side of... You know, one of the good sides of Fat Packs is that could have been, like, our second fetch land, right? But sometimes it's also your second kind of dud rare. I'm sure it's fun, a fun card, but just monetarily speaking. Dragon Grip, Monastery Swift Spear, that's a nice uncommon. Teamer Charger, and Segu Mauler. This card was no joke in draft with Morph and 6-6 uh, six, six Trample Hexproof. Last pack. And so if you are all enjoying yourself so far and you want me to keep going, you want me to open something interesting, pause the video now, crush that thumbs up button, and uh, make a comment down below just to say hello. Obviously, we all know I'm going to do it anyway, but I definitely appreciate the support. It means a lot. I'm shallow. Come on. Let's go. Pine Walker. Loved this card. Couldn't tell you why. I just always probably overdrafted it. Watcher of the Roost. Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. An Avalanche Tusker. We have a Foil. Sultai Charm. Okay. All right. Well, since you've all been so well behaved, I'm even... I don't think I'm going to even spoil it in the title. In fact, I may actually even push this video out on a Sunday. Eh, maybe not. Probably be Monday. I have lots of work to do this weekend. But we also have a mystery box. Uh, these are were or still are for sale at Walmart. Are in general not a great investment. But if you don't have a local game store around or you happen to be at Walmart late and you've got... 30 bucks or whatever and you want to piss it away on something uh, magical uh, you get six packs in here uh, five of which are known and one which is unknown now in my experience the unknown pack has almost always been something totally not exciting but let's see it's always been Return to Ravnica I think which is not unexciting, but it's not like it's an alpha pack, obviously. Eldritch Moon. Shadows over Innistrad. Born of the Gods. Burn. Oath of the Gatewatch. Kaladesh. And Battle for Zendikar. And a random spin down. Well, that doesn't mean we can't still have fun. I mean, I don't know. I, like... What would I want? What have, would have? What would I? What would I have wanted? It's hard to say. I do like the kind of the mystery idea, but make no mistake about it, it's not a great investment. That's why you get to just watch me make poor financial decisions, and we all get to enjoy it together. Shreds of sanity, fortune's favor, guys of the archives, and collective brutality. Oh yeah, the flip cards. I forgot about those. Grizzled Angler. With the grizzle, grizz, Grizzly Angler Fish. Thing is no joke. Shadows over Innistrad. Boy, it felt like Eldritch Moon Shadows just came and went, doesn't, didn't it? Maybe the time periods... Was it because Conspiracy came out? That might have been it. it just, they just came and went. Olivia's Bloodsworn, Dissension in the Ranks, Erdwall Illuminator, and Forgotten Creation. Our flip card is a Harvest Hand. I have seen decent pulls in these packs. My, my biggest concern with these were that you were getting mapped packs. Um, I'm not as concerned about... I always loved Swordwise Centaur, by the way, too, whenever I was playing green. Um, maybe we'll find something spicy. A crow and phalanx. Drown in sorrow. We have a foil in this pack too. Rage monger. And an Inferno. We pulled a mythic at least. All right, the god of Polis. We also have a foil, fearsome temper. Okay, 
one thing I will say about the mystery pack is that you you do get that interaction where you're kind of like, oh yeah, I wasn't expecting this set. Oh yeah, what good cards are in this set? Now we're going to go uh, Masterpiece, Expedition, Expedition. Ready? Go. Blooming Defense, Speedway Fanatic, Elegant Edge Crafters, Architect of the Untamed. Well, I was wrong. I'd say I'd venture to say that my correct my percentage of correct guesses are similar to a your local weatherman. You know, I'm get ten percent maybe. <laughs> Birthing Hulk, Immobilizer Eldrazi, Gift of Tusks, another Mythic, Sphinx of the Final Word. He answers questions as readily as he asks them. But the answer is always no. Oh, yeah, full art land. A flirt. Well, we found two mythics. I mean, that's a thing. Battle for Zandakar. We're going to quick finish here with a Gideon or an, a Gideon and an Expedition in the same pack, probably, is what I'm guessing. Grip of Desolation, Unified Front, Retreat to Hagra, and Conduit of Ruin. I was wrong. <laughs> Yeah, that you know that happens. I would say you know. Um, I really appreciate all the support this weekend and this week. The channel's really starting to kind of get some momentum again, so I appreciate you always liking the videos and uh, spreading it out and telling your friends about the HQ community. Patreon's really going again. It's been a great week for the channel. A great week for all of everyone involved, and it's a hundred percent because of all of you. Um, I'm just down here in my basement. Um, it's actually my basement. It's not my mom's basement. She bought me a car bed, though. I'm just down here um, sharing the same hobby that all of you really like and uh, doing the best I can to be entertaining. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.